We're talking dinosaurs with artist Bill Stout. Now, tell me about this critter. Ooh, this is a wonderful thing. A lot of people mistake this for a dinosaur. It's actually a seagoing lizard from a family called the Mosasaurs. Mosasaur, okay. Mosasaur started as a lizard. They, they left land, developed paddles and flippers to swim with, and eventually they came back to land. But uh, extraordinary animal. This creature, it lived during the time of the dinosaurs, the last period, the Cretaceous, uh, with the dinosaurs that died out about 65 million years ago. And one of the most extraordinary things about this creature is the roof of its mouth. You can see these big rows of teeth here. Yeah, those are vicious looking teeth. Where you would expect teeth to be, but where you don't expect teeth to be. Uh -huh. Let me show you this palette, because here in this palette are two more rows of teeth. So whatever was coming in was not coming out. Well, that's great design. Not for us, but for the Mosasaur. <laughs> yeah. Now, this head's about three feet long. How long is the creature? 45 feet in total. It's a huge, huge animal. And this is an illustration you did. Yes, that okay. is a mosasaur that was found in Antarctica, in Cretaceous rocks of Antarctica. And the extraordinary thing about this is, besides it being from Antarctica, look at the bottom of the painting. There are two red-throated loons being disturbed and frightened by this mosasaur. That <laughs> makes the red-throated loon the oldest living prehistoric bird. Now, how do we know those loons were there? They were in the same fossil bed as the Mosasaur. Wow. You know, Bill, I'm kind of glad these aren't around anymore. Well, actually they are. Their descendants live today. They're called monitor lizards, the biggest of which is the Komodo dragon lizard. And if we piqued your interest for the Mosasaur, you can buy a print that Bill did, and he'll sign it at dinogallery.com. Bill, thanks. Always a pleasure, Eric.